Okay, a couple of tasks now. The ricotta has reached its uh, temperature. You can see on the top as well, look, the few little bits of the butter fat mm. in there, in there, nice and yellow. So you can see that spoon's actually sitting on top of the ricotta there because it's floating. And this will also need draining and turning in a second, but we'll do the ricotta first. So if I can just get out a nice big bowl, I know we've got one down here somewhere. There we are. I'll just pop that there. And then in the bowl, I'm just going to pop a cheesecloth. Just open it up a bit. There we go. Might just be able to double it over to give a slightly tighter weave. We'll turn the gas off. And then I'm going to just get the slotted spoon. And we're just going to take the ricotta out. In fact, the slot spoon's the wrong one. I made that mistake last time. We want the ladle. And then we're going to ladle the ricotta off the surface and into our cheesecloth just there. solids left in there so I'm just going to bring the heat back up again and we'll see if we can get some more to flocculate to the surface. Let's just check the temp. Yeah I'm sure we'll get some more out of this and while that's coming back up to the boil I better turn that off. Right, while that's coming back up to the boil, we'll just move these. Uh, implements out of the way for a second and what I'm going to do next is just get into this curve that we've got here we're just going to drain it off a little more into the, uh, into the pan drained off nicely. What I'm going to do is unwrap our curd. I'm just going to toss it out. There we go. Pop that on the drainer for a second. And now we're just going to cut this curd into about two inch wide pieces. And 
and as you can see the consistency of the curd now has become somewhat more um, closely knit almost like a chicken breast and if I squeeze it you see the Milky Way comes out Milky Way so next we're just going to stack these on top of each other Right, you can see we've changed the position of the curd now. So I'm just going to pop this plastic back on the top to prevent the tea towel touching the cheese. And we'll pop the towel back on. And just pop them back up again. And we're going to let that drain for another 5 or 10 minutes now before we come back to it. And we're going to turn the curd after that. Right now I'm happy with that, we've got all we need out of there, just need a piece of string. There we go, make a little loop in one end. Yep, once again, hello Addy, can you see Abby down there? Gather up the corners. Now you don't want to be squeezing this. Just holding it up out of the way. And then we've got a little loop on there, which will allow me to tip that back in there. I'll just sit it there for a second. So if I slide my curse that way, just push them back a touch get this out of the way because it needs cleaning and then we should be able to just hang a ricotta up there there we go and then that will Stay there, drain in for the next eight hours. Um, depending on how you like your ricotta cheese, uh, 
If you like it dry, then I suggest you leave it for 10, 12, even longer. Uh, and if you like it quite spreadable and moist, then uh, you'd obviously crack into it earlier, but I find eight hours seems to be the ideal amount of time. So we're just gonna wait now for the cheese curds to, and then we'll carry on from there.